you always know it's been a good party when something gets destroyed, something gets broken, people end up pregnant. Yeah, it's all happened in this house tonight. The hot corn here, he's down there. He's ripped down all of his lighting last night. That one there, that's just his UVB lighting, but he's ripped all that down last night. What a pain that is. We go over to see Rosie, just there, and she's totally destroyed her enclosure. All those branches were all sticking up really nice, all up on that top ledge. There she is, just sat there dead smug. She must have been partying hard last night. And then if we go into the reptile room, sorry if this is a bit shaky. We go into the reptile room, the new reptile room. I can't wait to show you this, guys. Well, check these ones out. The morning geckos. We've just missed the enclosure down, so obviously it's a bit bad. But right up in that top corner, just there, two morning gecko eggs. Now, that's not the only two that's in here. If you have a look just there, you can see those white dots just there. They're on top of the hygrometer at the back. You can just about see them. Now, these two are the problems because eggs, they stick to whatever surface they're laid on. So, there they are, laid on the front door. He's laid them on the front door, but not only that, look around the side, she's also laid them on the side. Do you know what that means? I can't open this door without breaking those eggs. I always thought, hopefully, they'd lay on one of the plants in there so that I could just take the plant out and stick it in one of those tubs. Sit the plant in there, let them incubate in there, and jobs are good on. But no, they've stuck them on the glass. You can see all four eggs just there nicely. And if we come over here, just turn the lights on. That's my little softbox. Come all the way down here to my leopard gecko breeding sort of setup. There's Donna. Sticking her head out, basking away in the UV. We have got what looks like leopard gecko eggs. So what's the plan of attack? We basically have to go around and figure out how to do those morning gecko eggs. I may just have to move the adults out of there and let them incubate, but then the babies can escape out of that enclosure. I don't know. That might take some creativity thinking for that one. I've got popcorn enclosures to sort. I've got Rosie's enclosures to sort. I've got the leopard gecko eggs to find and whack in the incubator. But we're on COVID-19 lockdown. So, there's a few things I can do. Personally, for me, I'm classed as a key worker. I am on the front line. Woo, makes me sound important, but it's really not, I'm a bus driver. I'm quite lucky because our local reptile shop, Sutton Pets and Exotic, that's classed as a key shop, so that's still open. We're only allowed out to do one exercise daily, so one daily exercise, uh, essential shopping where needed, and to go to and from work. That's the UK's lockdown. So. I'm gonna go out and do some essential exercise. I'm gonna to go to certain pets and exotics and pick up some bits and bobs. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna fix all this up and you're coming along with me. It's surprising how many cars are actually out when we're in lockdown. But we're here, let's go take a look around. And now we're back, and we're gonna start the leopard gecko egg part. We're just gonna find some leopard gecko eggs. We've got Millie in the lay box. Come on, girl. Let's go say hi to the camera. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Northern Exotics. Subscribe. <laughs> right, there you go, sweetheart. You can go in there. And now we've got the lay box. You can see how it's all been pushed up into one side. So that means they've normally laid eggs in there. And we'll check underneath. Yes, little man. Why did you just say sweetheart? I was talking to Millie, the leopard gecko. We've got King Jacob. Say hello, King <laughs> Jacob. Say hello. I'm actually not a king, Dad. Are you not a king? <laughs> no. So what are you? Uh, uh, just a boy. Are you a boy or are you a human being? Just a boy. Okay then, right, let's search for some leopard gecko eggs. Can I help you? Yeah. Do you know what to do? Yeah. What? Scrape the mud. Gently scrape it from this side down there very gently. Don't dig too deep. That's well, not too deep at all. That's it, keep going. I just felt her egg. Where is it? I don't know, I think it is there. Oh no. The eggs are... There's two eggs there, but they've gone off. They're not very good eggs. They're what we call slug eggs. Let's see. 
What? What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. What? I think I found them, Jacob. What do you mean they're not gone off from the slug eggs? Yeah, not the slug eggs. Right, let me just move this over here. I just saw a white bit right there. There we go. So, right, camera, can you see the two eggs? So what we're going to do, Jacob, I'm going to take the eggs and I make two little holes in this. This is called hat right. I know, but why have we got eggs on egg there? And then we get the eggs. Now, these are perfect eggs, and I will show you why in a minute when I've got them in. Why are they perfect, Dad? Well, look, can you see the difference between these two eggs and the, and slug, eggs. the slug eggs? These are soft and gooey. These are hard and white. Yes. Put the lid on, but we've got two holes. We've got a hole there and a hole there. We put that directly over the two. Um, but why do we have two holes what in our lid? To let a bit of air in because the animals that are inside these eggs are leopard geckos and they still need to breathe. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so we'll put this in the incubator, shall we? So hidden away in the corner down there is our incubator. We've got to open it and look. We've still got some cool eggs in there. They're working just nicely. And then these new ones go on the next shelf down. We've dated them and that's that done. Let's move on to our other jobs. Come over here and have a look at these morning gecko eggs. They're finally real. Can you come over and have a look? Can you find them in there? Can you find any eggs? Uh, um. Remember morning geckos stick them on the sides. Oh, where are they? Whoa, have a look down the side. Can you see any more? Put your head over here and have a look. Yes. How many more can you see? Oh, you can see two. How many in total? Four. Wow. So we have got two there and two over the back. Woo. But with Jacob dropped off solely because through this whole coronavirus sort of outbreak and the lockdown, I physically can't see him that much. The government just don't let me. Uh, he lives with his mom and so what. But we can take full advantage right now of the daily exercise allowance that we're allowed to do. So I'm going down the beach to go for a jog. <laughs> step most important hand sanitizer let's face it it's COVID-19 time oh you can never have enough of that stuff oh. See, here's the thing. I absolutely love this location for a couple of reasons. One, it's home to some very decent species. Stuff like our native UK natterjack toads. They're an endangered species. I think they're endangered. Correct me if I'm wrong. But this is one of the places where they actually reside. One of the very few, I think there's only two places in the whole of the UK where these actually reside. This little pond is one of them. I can't disclose where I am. I'm not allowed to get any footage of it. It's an endangered species. But look at the measures they've gone through. We've got one fence, we've got two fence, we've got an amazing pond, but it's not also home to the natterjack toads. It's also home to some big sand dunes and another endangered species called the sand lizard. It's a fairly common name, isn't it? A sand lizard, you wouldn't think anything of it. However, it's an endangered UK reptilian lizard. It's only about this sort of big. This is one of the only places in the UK, one of four places where you'd actually find them. There's big organisations like Chester Zoo and loads of conservation people that captive breed that specific species for wild repopulation. This is one of the places where they get repopulated. Chester Zoo actually repopulated 79 into this exact area last year. I can't wait to see how that repopulation happens. But there's this location, there's a location in Wales, there's a location down south. We've got some great species. You've just got to go out and find them. Now that we're on lockdown, you're allowed to go out for exercise. Why not go out and have a look? You're not allowed to touch them, you're not allowed to photograph them, you're not allowed to video them. 
But if you do spot one, you can go onto the various websites and mark down your location and all that sort of stuff. Let's keep walking. I know this is where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time, but I've just climbed up this big sand dune. Check it out, you've got the sea over there and the sand dunes over there. That's the pond we were just at. And climbing up the sand dune, we've got another one there. And there's another one there. And I think there's even another one over there. So, that one down there has got a sign. I want to go read that sign. So, let's um, let's go down this sand dune, shall we? Whoa. <laughs> ah! Defeated. Let's go see what that sign says. Guys, check it out. It's a Natterjack toad sign. Wow. So that must mean, in here, we've got Natterjack toads. That paragraph right at the bottom there, that's a bit blurry on camera, you can't really see it, but it says the Natterjack toads are nocturnal and they burrow during the day. So I'm coming down here again at night time, I think. But we're back home. We've done a few little bits and bobs. First job, hand sanitise. But while I'm doing this, let me run you through what we've just done. As you can tell, up there, Popcorn's lighting is bodged together because it's broke all the brackets. So when the lockdown's over, I can actually go out and get some brackets to be able to sort that out. The morning geckos, I've got a few ideas, but they're okay as they are for now. It takes a few months for those eggs to hatch. So I'll crack on with that nearer the time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new around here, please subscribe.